2022 gave us the best DreamWorks villain ever. And his name is Jack Horner. Bang, bang, bang. You're not gonna shoot a puppy, are you, Jack? Yeah, in the face. Do I wait for the cats to steal the map and then kill them? Or do I just kill everybody all at once? But what makes him such a good villain? You're an irredeemable monster! Oh, oh, what took you so long? He's comically, unapologetically irredeemable. And in a time where villains in animated films are usually misunderstood or there is no bad guy and the real villain is generational trauma, it's a breath of fresh air to have someone who's just rotten to the core and owns it. And the beloved Cheater Cheater Pumpkin Eater John Mulaney's performance elevates Jack's ruthlessness to a brand new level. It's so cute how you think that would work on me. Of course, when the internet hears the word irredeemable, they're bound to meme it up and ask the age-old question, could Steven Universe fumble their redemption? To which the answer is usually, yes, yes he would. I mean, it writes itself. An irredeemable monster goes up against a pacifist teenager who tries to see the good in everybody. We know how this is going to end. Or do we? Okay, so like, I don't want to be that guy pulling up to the party with the, um, actually. But as someone who's rocked with Steven Universe longer than most people in the meme ecosystem, I don't think the Steven we have at the end of the franchise would try to redeem Jack, like, at all. If we're being real, he'd probably kill the guy. I believe there are three different kinds of Steven, three variants, if you will, that would all handle old Jackie in different ways. Let me explain. But first, I want to make it clear that I'm not taking this seriously, like, at all. Memes are memes. I just thought this would be a fun little thing to talk about. And I want to make money. Tee. It's not surprising a lot of people have the perception that Steven is someone who tries to redeem any villain he remotely comes into contact with, and it's all because of this little stink right here. I mean, this is the Steven whose series concluded with him making amends with giant tyrannical space ladies. That's gonna leave a, uh, impression on people. Think people think Steven's a little bit. I think in some alternate universe where Jack pulled 14-year-old Steven out of his magic swag bag, instead of Jiminy Cricket, Steven would try to reason with them just as much as Jiminy, and make just as much progress as Jiminy, which is zero. The memes are right on the money with this one. Steven would probably be like, Mr. Horner, I know sometimes the world can be pretty bad, and that can make people feel like they have to lash out and hurt people, so they won't get hurt themselves. But trust me, this isn't the answer. You may think being mean feels good, but being nice feels even better. If we work together, we can pave a path a little less cloudy and a little more cheery. Sorry, I had my AirPods in. Did you say something? <laughs> But if we're being for real, I think it would go deeper than Steven trying to sing some song and Jack blasting him with some magic lock. Steven in the OG series is definitely pretty gullible. He's been tricked by his ops on multiple occasions. And taking advantage of people is Jack's forte. I think it wouldn't take long for Jack to realize that Steven has actual godlike powers and try to lure him into doing his dirty work. That journey through the dark forest would have been a cakewalk for Steven. I mean, sentient man-eating plants? Bro, Steven can make an army of them. Where the Baker's dozen folded, Steven would prosper. And right when Steven pieces together what's going on, the gems would show up and kick Jack's ass, while Steven watches dazed and confused. But again, this is just 14-year-old Steven, the one the internet is most familiar with. And by familiar, I mean memes that are about, like, 24% accurate. The next Steven, however, is completely flipping the script. Future Steven is a much different story. If there's one thing a lot of memers who never really watched the show don't know about Steven, it's that my boy knows how to throw hands. He did so sparingly in the OG series, only really cutting loose during training. He was ready to scrap at pretty much every inconvenience. Hell, the clip of Steven singing to Jack that started the tsunami of memes? In the context of the movie that's from, Steven singing about not wanting to fight while fighting. He's not that little kid who tries to hold off on a brawl anymore. 
Just because he doesn't want to do something doesn't mean he won't do it. The movie's actually a case where trying to redeem and reason with the villain is Steven's last resort. The first thing he does when Spinell shows up is put her out of commission. The first episode of Future is built around Steven trying to befriend Jasper for the millionth time, and they end up fighting! When two of the biggest ops in his life pull up as a fusion, he jumps them as soon as he's given a reason. The gems had to check him throughout the episode and remind him to give people a chance to change. This is a complete 180 from that cheeseburger backpack kid. And then, when his mental health is at its lowest, he goes back to Jasper for advice, and they start fighting again! And Steven kills her! Brutally! And then he reluctantly goes to the Diamonds for advice, and tries to kill one of them! When pushed to the limit, and with no therapy, Nans is a true menace through and through. Just listen to how unhinged that laugh is. <laughs> My dude saw the Twitter comments and had enough. Now, Steven was having a mental breakdown throughout most of that, but if you don't think being around Jack for more than a few seconds wouldn't set him off, I'm here to let you know, it definitely would. Whereas kid Steven would be gullible enough to fall for Jack's deception and give him the benefit of the doubt, future Steven's on edge enough to give Jack one look and say, you gotta go, before rocking his shit. This Steven knows he's a demigod, knows what he's capable of, and wouldn't waste too much time on Jack. But then, there's the final Steven. A Steven who, frankly, scares me. A Steven who only existed for a collective eight minutes, but still managed to leave his mark on this world. A Steven who fears nothing, not even death itself. And that Steven is... Pilot Steven! A force to be reckoned with. A Steven who doesn't fight with his fist, but his words. And those words are like daggers. I can still hear his slightly stuttering voice. His witch-like cackle that he belted to the heavens. His roast Katopolin empire, bringing even the most fearsome, powerful world leaders to their knees. What if I told you that pilot Steven had that dog in him? When Loco Donut Shop Cashier, Lars Bariga, informed Steven that he wasn't a quote-unquote hot girl. Invalidating his status as a crystal gem, Steven hits him with, Well, if I was, I wouldn't be talking to you! <laughs> Lars! The one thing no one tried to do throughout all the Poos and Boots was roast this man's haircut. And let's be honest, it's pretty stupid. But Pilot Steven would rise to the occasion. He probably wouldn't even stop at the haircut. Everything Jack remotely likes about himself would suddenly be under scrutiny. You don't try to appease the dickhead. You fight dickheadery with dickheadery. And if anyone's gonna get that job done, it's Pilot Steven Universe. Or maybe I just made all that up. <laughs> You're not gonna check. So, uh, Steven versus Jack Corner ranking. Last place, OG Steven, he's definitely gonna get folded. Future Steven at number two, he does the folding. And Pilot Steven at number one, he'd make Jack believe in therapy. What are your hot takes on Steven versus Jack Corner? Who would win, who would lose? Don't take this too seriously, lest you scare the hoes. Give this video a like, subscribe to the roundtable with notifications on. Give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram. Shout out to Argo with Coder for the thumbnail. And I'll see you guys on the meme streets. Remember, Pilot Steven is watching.